everyone, it's Erica here again with another card for you. Today I'm going to make a really fast and simple card again, and this was supposed to be my simple Sunday card, but I had to send my camera to Canon for cleaning, so I couldn't get this up until today. And I'm going to use a few stamps from Whiff of Joy and some bright colors of Archival Link. And I'm stamping a few of these feathers onto a piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to cut these out later, so I'm just trying to get as many feathers as I can onto this piece. And I did try using another of the feathers in this set as well, but I didn't really like the way they turned out, so I decided not to use them, and I stamped the first feather in all different colors instead. And I'm just quickly cleaning my stamp here with a baby wipe before I stamp in a new color. This way I don't contaminate the ink pads. And when I'm done stamping, I'm using my Tim Holtz scissor to cut out all of the feathers. And since this image is very intricate, it's going to be really hard to cut it out perfectly, so I'm just leaving a small white border around the image, which will make it a lot easier to cut. And when I have cut out all of the images, I am trying to figure out where I want to place them on my card base. And I'm using a standard European A6 card base as usual. And when I have decided my placement, I went ahead and die cut a small banner from the Tattered Banners die set from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment on this piece. And for the sentiment, I'm using a stamp set from Whiff of Joy called Magical Wishes. And to make sure I get the sentiment where I want it to be, I am using my stamp positioner as always. Before I adhere the banner to my card, I first have to adhere all of the feathers. And for the first two feathers, I am using my Tombow tape runner and just adhering them flat onto the card base. And the two top ones will be adhered with foam squares to give the card a little bit of dimension. And I'm also adhering the sentiment strip with foam squares, and I want this to stand out even more, so I'm using two squares on top of each other here. And when the pieces were adhered, I realized that I didn't really like the ends of the banner, so I just used my scissor to cut them down a bit and give them a more clean look. I think this worked a lot better with a clean and simple card like this. And after I had adhered all of the pieces, I still thought that the card needed something more, so I decided to add some faux stitching around the edges. And for this I'm using a 0.3 Copic Multi-Liner in black, and I also used my Tim Holtz ruler here to make sure that I got the line straight. And when I had made the faux stitching around the card, the banner didn't really blend in as well as I wanted it to, so I just went ahead and added some faux stitching to that as well. And that was my card for today. As I said, it was very fast and simple, but I hope you liked it, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching!